Before we get into today's video, I want to address the Link Navigator. Think of it as a big timetable for the entire events of the game. You can also select levels from here. Unfortunately, we can't do that until we beat 19 missions in-game. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But from here, we can see descriptions of each level and also which levels we could go to next depending on said objective completed. As you can see, there's a blue line that that will direct you from another level by completing mission objective one. The red line takes you to another level when you beat an objective number two. As you can see there, it takes me to some other character that we haven't even played as yet. We'll be getting to them later. And the game spans over three days. And the rest is whatever happens afterwards after the story's done. Professor? What is this place? Where are we? I just don't get it. What's going on? I told you to wait in the car. But, but what's happening? What is this? Why is this happening? This is exactly why I told you not to come. Professor, we need to find the villagers. They must be panicking. <sighs> Please shut up. <sighs> What is this? Oh. oh my god. From now on, you will do exactly as I tell you. What? Until I call you, keep your eyes closed and stay still. Do you understand? Okay, come on. Uh, uh, okay. Uh. So, welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Forbidden Siren. We gotta reach the road to Kanarai with the Raiko Anno. Let's do this. Yeah. So, I'm supposed to concentrate and listen to your voice. Well, I'm seeing something kind of strange. Looks like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Alright. So, we could go ahead and sidejack Yuriko here. And sidejack all the Shibito that are here. I think there's only three. I want to sidejack the sniper guy because he is the main problem of this freaking level. And he's a pretty good shot, as you'll see right now. Okay, well, he, he kind of lost sight of me since I turned on my flashlight, so let me demonstrate that again. There you go, I just got shot right in the chest. But I'm okay, man. I'm okay. I'm okay. Because we are playing as Tomon Takauchi, yes, another protagonist in this game. As I said, there's only three, and we'll be meeting uh, Shiramayata, which is the third one, later. So we want to go down this real river bank here because it's relatively safe. But we also got to be careful of the patrolling Shibiru that's up on this hill, and another one that's on another hill north of me. What we're going for is to take out the sniper because he is a problem. I believe there is a way to go past the, past him without him noticing you, but... Um, we're gonna do it the way I, the developers intended to do it. So let's do it. We need to go get a radio that's up here. And this is for... to fulfill a certain requirement for another character later on that will be coming to this area. So that he could do mission objective two. I don't think you need to do all requirements, like some of them are possible to do without, you know, needing to alter something in the level. I'll demonstrate that later. Anyways, we want to sidejack this guy here. He's coming towards us. Because, uh, and he fucking saw us. 
Shut up. Oh, a little excited there, aren't you? Yeah, if Shibita sees you, basically just try to find somewhere to hide. They'll relatively lose you pretty fast. Anyways, here's the whale. We want to pull up the bucket. So that we could put the radio inside. Oh man, goddamn baby hands. Anyways, we put the radio in the bucket. And that is gonna lure the Shibiru to come over here and check shit out. You may be asking, why do we need him to come over here and check it out? Distraction, maybe? Well, not quite. We need this Shibiru out of the way because he'll become a problem later on. Also, it's also best to do this now. I just said also twice, damn it. Yeah, it's best to do this now because later on when you come back to this level to do Mission Objective 2, there's gonna be more Shibiru here. Which will just make things harder and more complicated and it, yeah, it's just not fun. So there he is, he's almost getting next to the whale. We're gonna go right behind him and we're gonna just like donkey punch him. Well, shoot him to be more precise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go with shooting him. There you go. Beautiful. There you go. For Akira Shimura. Mission Objective 2's requirements fulfilled. Alright. So now let's go get that sniper and this old lady saw me. Just give her a few shots in the face and she'll go down. Relatively these Shibiru are pretty weak. However, so are you. So yeah, don't underestimate them. I should explain right now how the guns work in this game. When you aim longer at an enemy or a target, you'll have a better chance of hitting them. Yeah. Yeah. And also having your flashlight on as well, because I mean that's freaking obvious. If you can't see what you're trying to shoot, then yeah, you're not going to hit anything. Anyways, we took out the sniper, now we gotta go back and get Yoriko. So we could get the hell out of this freaking level. Since we're here, uh, I should also mention that your characters do have stamina. This will drain during combat and if they're generally just running around freaking everywhere. The males have more stamina than the females and yeah, that's just the way it is in this game. I don't know why it's all sexist like that, but... Whatever the hell. So we go up this hill here, and uh, this should take us to the exit of the level. And we'll move on to the next one. Where we'll play as K. Makino. A new character. Alright, there it is. I couldn't find it. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Freaking beautiful. But first, a cutscene. It's not a dream. Am I going crazy? This whole okay. game is freaking crazy, Kyoya. What do we do now? All we can do is wait here until Makino and the others arrive. Oh, are you... Is this a place of worship? I mean, it kind of looks like one, but it's different from the other ones I've seen. It may seem strange, but this is our faith. Oh. Well, I don't know anything about religion. It must be a sign. Outsiders like you don't normally possess the sight. Right. <laughs> <gasps> I'll go and see what's going on. 
Big Bang Theory is gonna go see what the hell's going on. New character, Kay Makino. It is Arco. Where is everyone? What's this? Reach the road to Kadawai. But before we do that, I want to go and address another thing in the menu. The map. And I had trouble finding it. There you go. So this is the map that they give you in every level. And well, it's not that helpful. Because you have to use landmarks to freaking find your way. Yeah, it doesn't tell you where you're at precisely on the map. It tells you where you start and where you should go. But that's about it. So yeah. You really just kind of have to know the level layout, I guess. So anyways, we want to sight at this guy because he's looking directly at us. And that guy's just hammering at nothing. And now we could go, I think. No, we can't. Yeah, there's quite a bit of Shibidu here. And if you remember, this is the level that we just did not that long ago in episode 1. So now we could go up here, since that guy's not looking. Yeah, we can't go straight through the road because there's a guy with a revolver and he'll just end us. He'll make us eat dirt. You can also dig around this freezer here. You need to plug it in first because it's not on. And we're going to open up and see what the hell's inside. Open the damn freezer. And it smells like shit. Oh, that said so the freezer's not working. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, that thing, it does have use. But I'll be demonstrating that later. Because our mission is just to get to Karawai, which is just up the road. And there's a guy gardening there, we want to be careful with him, and we want to crouch too because, um... There's a guy looking our way, and he can't see us if we crouch. So there you go, we get through unnoticed and unscathed. So, suddenly a perfect run. We just go over here, go up to this little bus stop stand, and we'll be out of the level. There you go, mission accomplished! Cutscene time again! With Miyako Kajiro! Poor pupper. Are you okay? Hey, this place is messed up. Let's just go to the church together and, and then think about what to do. The dog's already dead anyway. I, I'm sorry, but we have to. Damn, stone cold man. Joyo don't give a damn. Anyways, that is the end of Let's Play Forbidden Siren Part 2. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, until then.